Cammy next, the day after the call that went viral. Uh, it was on ESPN. Uh, uh, there's the same show that I was on on ESPN. Uh, has, has been airing all afternoon. It's been repeated. Tammy is uh, is Tammy. Uh, Tammy, I guess you've heard about. I guess you've heard about yesterday's call. Yes, Paul. I heard about it. It's down all over my Facebook page and everything else. Every one of them darn Alabama fans ain't done nothing but post it, post it, post it. But you know what? Before I even get started. Sting Ray, let me have something to tell you. I don't know if you know it or not, but in this state, the Bamers, the Bams consider us the cow college. And let me tell you something, we don't react to cowbells, sweetheart. So you keep ringing your cowbell because when you do come to Auburn and there is a new quarterback and you will see a different offense. So while you all that running your mouth and stand beside that cow, you just remember we are considered the cow college of Alabama and we don't react to cowbells. So you just come on, sweetheart. Now, Paul, I want you to know that you you don't need me trying to get Gus Malzahn's job because I know what you're doing, Paul. Yeah, I know what you're doing when you say, well, what does that mean when you say, well, Jesus, God, what did he do? How do you feel about his react? How do you feel about his decisions, his making, and this, that? I know what you're doing. You're trying to get him fired because he's going to end up beating Nick Saban. That's what you're doing. And I know that's what you're doing because he can beat Nick Saban and he will beat Nick Saban. So you don't need to be trying to. First of all, Tammy, Tammy, I'm not here to defend Nick Saban, uh, but he's beaten Nick Saban how many times? Well, uh, he's beaten him enough that we want him to stay down there, I tell you that. I can can tell you uh, that right now Nick Saban has much bigger issues and concerns on his chart than Gus Malzahn. Yeah, well, you will see. We'll see about all that. We still got a whole nother month, okay? And one night, a whole new offense coming. And I don't, I want you to know that I don't have nothing to do with what Gus makes his decision down there. He don't even know who I am. No, I bet he, uh, Tammy, I would slightly disagree with uh, that. I bet, uh, uh, I bet he knows who you are now. Well, I don't, you know, he didn't make his decision based on me, I can tell you that. Well, no, I mean, Tammy, you, you were right here yesterday. Saturday. You called for a quarterback change, and Gus Malzahn reacted. Other than that, my, my, I don't really care what you think about Gus Malzahn or what you think about the quarterback situation, but your line about your husband has uh, received a lot of attention around the country. <laughs> What do you mean my husband has received a lot of attention around the country? What are you trying to talk about? Because he's in a recliner? Well, is he back in the house? What? what? Yeah, he's in a recliner. I told you he's sleeping in a recliner and he's been fending for his tail. And I also told you that uh, he ain't been taking care of me. But that has nothing to do. Well, that has nothing to do with what we're talking about. Tammy, about. Tammy, you slow down a second. Well, let's take it one at a time. Forget the recliner. And, and I, I promise you that you know, your personal life is is of mild interest to anyone outside of your house. But what well, do you, yeah, Paul, he's back in the he's in the recliner. What do you mean when you say he's not taking care of you? I mean, does that mean he's not providing a roof over your head? He's not providing groceries. He's not giving you a good life. What do you mean by that? Oh, my husband is taking care of me. My husband is taking care of me. You don't worry about that. But I'm trying to make up for the last three nights because if I don't make up the last three nights, I will never get it again. He'll cut me off completely. I got to go. You know what I had to do? I had to get over here and fix his favorite meal. I've been cooking ever since I got off of work, and I cook in the morning for a living, and I had to get over here and cook. Tammy, my final question, let me try to help you, though, okay? Because I think you're... Uh, I've met your husband, and you, you guys look like an interesting couple. I wouldn't call it a great couple because there, there are so many differences. But do you have any idea why? Your, well, do you have any idea why your husband seems maybe uh, turned off by you? <laughs> could, it, could it be the fact that you called the Paul Feinbaum show and discussed your private life? Do you think it could be the fact that you called the Paul Feinbaum show and say you tried to hire a male prostitute? My husband knew me, he knew who I was, and he knows who I am, and he don't care what I say on this fine ball show, you hear me? Because he knows that I'll say whatever I say on this show, I'll say to his face and anybody else's face. You know me, Paul Feinbaum, I don't care what nobody thinks about me, I don't care what nobody says, I'm who I am, and if you either love me or you hate me, and I promise you, my husband loves me just the way I am. And for what he, what he did, I didn't mess, you know what I think it is. I think it's because I've gained so much weight. If you want to know the real truth about all that, no. it's because I've gained some weight. Well, 
Well, I, I will say this, Tammy, in all sincerity, uh, people that love each other, love each other regardless of looks or weight, uh, they're there to comfort. You know yeah, that. Yeah, but sometimes, Ma, you can't see everything when you got a tongue. You can't see everything. That goes for a man and a woman. Well, I, I, I want you two to get back together again, okay? We all back together again. Why do you think I'm making out for the steak, mashed potatoes, bug out peas? Uh, well, that, that's not what I really meant. I, 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 I want you two to be happy together. That's what I meant. We are happy together. The best thing to a man's stomach is through his stomach and his mouth. And then the mouth goes on and on and on. Ooh. What am I, Paul? I tried my best to be Dr. Phil. I tried to get them back together again in, in, in the... Uh, you don't want me to say that? Okay.